Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about factoring quadratic expressions. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, 9r squared minus 5r minus 10, and we have to factor this completely. First thing I'm looking at is, well, my a value, it's a 9. So two numbers that multiply to be 9 are either, well, let's say 9 and 1, or 1 and 9, and 3 and 3. Those are the two options there to kind of set this up, because remember, when we're factoring it, it has to have, well, this form, some 9r and 1r, and then some other number, or 3r and 3r, something like that. And so you see that's a 1. Our c value being a 10, or negative 10, Okay, you can put a negative there if you need to. Two numbers that multiply by 10 are just 1 and 10, and, well, 2 and 5. And we know, well, with our b value being negative and our c value being negative, one of these values must also be negative. Okay. So right off the bat, I'm looking at this, and we know what we have to do is say, one of these numbers times another one of the pairs, plus one of this one, the first value, times one of the other ones, add them together, can we get negative 5? Nothing really jumps out at me here, so I'm going to go kind of test all of them. I'm going to be smart about testing all of them, okay? We know that our final result adding has to be negative. So in that, we want to make sure that the larger of the two being multiplied is going to be the negative on the right-hand side here. So what do I mean by that? Let's go test some values out. Well, if we have 9, 9 times, let's say, one of the first ones, the larger one being 10, let's make that a negative 10, plus this one times that one. That ensures, by having a larger one of the two being negative, uh, basically 9 times a 10 is going to be larger than 1 times the 1, I'm going to put a negative on the 10 there. When I add that, or multiply and add that together, I get a negative 89. That doesn't equal negative 5. So let's try another one. If we do, well, 9 times this one right here, plus 1 times this negative 10, we still have a larger of the two pairs there. The negative here will be larger. But testing that out, 9 times 1 plus 10 times negative uh, 10 is a negative 1. That's not equal to negative 5. So let's try it again now, the first set, 9 and 1, with a 2 and 5. 9 times 5, and then we have plus 1 times 2, and the negative would go on the 5 because 9 times negative 5 is going to be larger, a larger number than 1 times 2. Add that together, and that comes back to be a negative 43. And again, 9 equal to negative 5. Let's try it again. 9 times 2 plus 1 times 5. And we know 9 times 2 is going to be larger than 1 times 5, so let's put the negative on the 2 there. 9 times a negative 2 plus 1 times 5 is a negative 13, still not our negative 5. Okay, so it's not, we've kind of tested all the uh, options smartly with 9 and 1 being the first two values. Let's try the 3 and the 3. Well, 3 here times, let's go to the first ones here, so 3 times 1 plus 3 times 10, and since they're the same values, right, same a value really. We don't need to flip them around, but the larger one has to be negative, so it's this one here. 3 times 1 plus 3 times a negative 10. Well, 3 times negative 10 is negative 30, plus 3 is negative 27. Again, not equal to negative 5. Well, what about this one? 3 times 2 plus 3 times 5. Let me put the negative on the 5 there, because that would be clearly larger. 3 times 2 times uh, plus 3 times negative 5 is a negative 9, and we're still not at negative 5. So we've actually exhausted all the possibility combinations here, and, well, smartly, that could actually work to make it uh, with the negatives there, and nothing shows up. So what happens here? Well, this is not factorable. Meaning that this quadratic, the way it is, isn't factorable with our integers here. So our final answer is just not factorable. I hope this video was helpful for you. And if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you 
and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math.